Afternoon Live. Our current world is in chaos with an anxiety levels at an all time high. No worries because our next guest always has a way of making everything better. Here to help us during these challenging times is Shannon Kaiser, best selling author and creator of forthcoming Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle Deck. Shannon, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Hi, it's so good to be here with you today. Thanks for having me. Of course. I mean, this is literally the perfect time for you to come on, especially with everything that's been going on with us opening up, us closing down. So now is the perfect time for us to find that inner peace. Yeah, you know, inner peace is the key word, too. It's like we take two steps forward, and it sometimes feels like ten steps back. We're trying so hard to do what we feel is right, but inner peace mm -hmm. is on the inside of us. And so I think today tips, today's tips are going to help us kind of reframe instead of getting caught in the chaos that's happening outside of us, we go inward. I love that. I love that. One of your first steps you talk about is prioritizing self-love and care. How can we do that? Yeah, you know, right now we're all really wanting to take care of others, especially those that we love. There's a collective of wanting to show up for everyone and do what we feel is right. But if we're doing this at the sacrifice of self, because we've been taught that maybe self-love is selfish, then we're actually not doing anyone a favor because we can't help anyone if we're not taking care of ourselves. Yeah. So I invite everyone to reverse this first and show up for yourself. What are you doing daily to nurture yourself? You know, practicing strengthening our immune system, getting vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, all these things but showing up with love in your household, even when people have different beliefs. These are things we can do to help us move forward with more grace and ease and not have such anxiety taking us over because self-love is really about loving yourself so you can actually love everyone else. I love that. And it's definitely a big thing. I feel like, you know, especially with social media too, it's always like everyone always looks happy. You feel like you always have to show up and be yeah. that happy person instead of taking time to really make sure you're good on the inside. I love this next one you have because this is definitely me. You say turn work Hurry into wonder, which I love that. Surrender to the experience. How, how can we do that? Ooh, this one's really important because I feel we are going to worry with the numbers changing and the more we look outside of ourselves, it is chaotic and it's a moving target every day and we're trying to keep up and the worry gets extra, extra extreme. And so turn your worry to wonder is really about accessing your inner world, taking a moment, do a digital detox if you need, kind of tune out and go inside and feel your feelings or often at what I say, free your feelings. You know, earlier this week, I started to feel extreme anxiety and here I am writing books about inner peace and working with clients. And I realized this anxiety was because I wasn't allowing myself to feel the frustration. Like we're all showing up and doing what we need to, but if we're not, processing the feelings that come with that, the grief of us losing parts of our lifestyle, the, the sadness, the grief of, of what's happening in the world, the sadness, the frustration. So often we run from these emotions, but when you allow yourself to feel them, cry it out if you need, it processes and it transforms and moves through you. And then you have clarity and that clarity moves you into the next part, which is really about taking action. And that's the next step. The how is in the now. And I think sometimes we get debilitated by overwhelming choices we're so overwhelmed by the state of the world and it becomes exhausting because we feel like we're doing everything we can but when we let go of thinking that hopelessness is taking over we process our feelings we can then go to a place of what can I do today right now I don't have control over the world I don't have control over what's going to happen in, in tomorrow, but in this moment, we can get in touch with perhaps our intuition, and our intuition is a guiding force. It will say, hey, maybe you just need to rest. Turn off the TV. Turn off, turn off your digital device. Maybe it says, go knock on your neighbor's door. They need a friend right now. And we start to listen to our inner world, and it leads us, it guides us to happiness and safety. I love that. Is there daily exercises that you do? Because, you know, I, I feel like there are certain times where I definitely am trying to talk to myself, but maybe I get caught up again do you have daily exercises that you do like start every morning with quiet time or journaling yeah. I love the daily practice idea and in fact waking up every morning before I even put my feet on the ground and before I even brush my teeth I go through gratitudes and Ooh. I think about what am I thankful for today and sometimes it is different than the day before but I allow myself to be in a space of instead of dread and fear and worry and oh my gosh we're doomed because it's easy to fall into that yeah. I focus on the joy that can be possible what can I do today to help others what can I do to feel peace within myself 
myself and do my best to show up in my community? These are all really important things we can ask ourselves, but also journal questions. I love asking myself either journaling, actually writing them out, or just pondering on them. And so some questions you can ask is, how can I listen to my intuition? What is my intuition telling me today? Another one is, when do I feel most nurtured and cared for? How can I show up for myself today with more self-love? Yeah. And they tie into our tips as well. I love that. And also, I think the idea of comparing, you have another tip, and it's reminding yourself that everyone is on their own journey. I feel this is probably the most important right yeah. now because truthfully, I think what's causing the most anxiety is this, 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 focus on other people not doing what we feel is best because we know what's best for us and why aren't they just listening why aren't they doing it and every single one of us is in a different position and I think once we recognize that we actually have more in common than we think so whether you're in the household or you're working with people or even in your community if there's people who have a totally different belief or a way to move forward recognize that actually when you take a step back we're, we have more in common than we realize. If we can come together with respect and love for each other, instead of thinking my way is your way and that's the only way, maybe sit down and have a conversation and say, you know, I'd really like to understand where you're coming from, not with the goal to change you, but to really right. understand you as a person, because I love you, you're a family member. Yeah. Um, this separation is just tearing us apart and we really all want the same thing, to get it, to be healthy, we care about each other and we really wanna get through this. Totally, if I've learned anything this past year, it's definitely that community is so important absolutely me too and and being there for others with love and respect and realizing that everyone is making choices really based on where they feel based on their education based on you know all kinds of things and it comes back down to respecting each other because we truly need each other we need each other more now than ever and we need to connect in our humanity we're brothers and sisters in, of the human exactly, you know exactly. and so it's time to come together exactly well shannon I'm glad we have each other. So yes, me too. I'm hugging you. <laughs> right, hugging you from afar. <laughs> Shannon, thank you so much. Of course. Well, more information about Shannon and her book and her Oracle Inner Peace cards on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more afternoon live right after this. Mm -hmm.